photographer, I've accumulated hundreds and hundreds of prints. So I've decided to purchase this Pulse Stake e Photo Scanner so that I can maybe get through many of these stacks and stacks of images to digitize of my family for an archive that I suspect will last indefinitely. So anyway, this is the unboxing of this item. And let's see what we have here. So there's a box of uh, goodies in here. I suspect that would probably be the electrical outlet connection cords and that's that. In here, one of the reasons I was attracted from the, two, from the reviews is the size and the speed of how fast scans can go. It says that we can scan a 4x6 in less than two seconds, which is outstanding. Some scanners I've had in the past even just a scan, a 35 millimeter negative would often take anywhere like from four to nine minutes, depending on the resolution. So here we have nice contact size. I've even already decided where I want to stick it, which is right here, which fits on my desk quite nicely, honestly. So let's just finish doing the unwrapping. It's very nicely packed. So I got the scanner up and running, and man, I am blowing through these pictures like crazy. It is so easy. You can see, I mean, it's, it's like almost at a copy machine. Just like picture after picture after picture. The archive, yes. And my guess is as face recognition gets better and better for baby to identify because honestly some of these people I don't even know who they are in the photographs but yeah just how just how quick and easy it is to do this it's just amazing I'm able to get through these hundreds of photographs in just a matter of seconds but here's a picture of me and my family way back in the day when the kids were very very small that I know I won't be able to, uh, there's no negative on that one, to be found easily. So print would be the very next best thing. I wanted to uh, show now, uh, using this scanner again, I have this kind of age photograph. Back in this day, we used to, uh, photographers would do a black and white print and then I think they would do a hand coloring. And I believe this is what this is, is an example of my mom and her brother, uh, my uncle Joe. Uh, so anyway, uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you how quickly this thing can scan face down. I think it's reading. Scanning. This is an 8x10 photo. Popped up here on the screen. I'm going to do this other tiny photo. Lightning speed. So now we have these two photos and I could just simply highlight them both and send them right over to photos. And as you see right here we we'll look at imports and boom there they are the two photographs are right here imported and two photos so I could go ahead and tag these keep them the way they are and then uh, have them go right into your photo library um, and then of course from here you do whatever tags you want to make on them and dates, etc. so you're able to find them. So that was just a brief view of uh, how this scanner works and 
many of the benefits of uh, scanning your images. So there you have it. Let me scan this up. Well worth the investment. Looking forward to archiving many of these images so they will be preserved for future generations. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this tip helps you do your photography better, archive your family photographs. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section on the channel here and check back periodically when I have new tips and tricks on photography. Hit the bell for notifications. You'll know when they're popping up or when they drop. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I deeply appreciate it. Thank you so much and take care.